Hey friends, happy Friday and welcome to a very special weekend vlog. It's a birthday vlog. That's right, today is actually my birthday and I will tell you, 35 looks a whole lot like 34. <laughs> no, uh, it's all good. Today started out, I'm doing some cleaning because <laughs> uh, Sean's dad and stepmom are actually going to be coming and staying the night tonight. Um, Sean actually just ran up to go get his ears lowered or his hairs cut, whatever you prefer. Um, so he is actually going to do that right now. And then he's gonna come back home and then we're just gonna just kind of tidy up and stuff. We are doing pizza tonight because it's easy and it's fun. And yeah, I'm not sure exactly how much vlogging we'll actually be doing today and tonight since they'll be here, but um, we'll just kind of wing it and we'll see. So welcome to the vlog, friends. Your blinker, really? Blinker. My ears lowered. Got your ears lowered. Got for you. Oh, babe, thank you. Could have waited till you got out of the truck. Oh, thanks. Grocery haul. Happy birthday. Grocery haul. Happy birthday. Okay, everyone. It's Lisa's birthday. <laughs> hey, Google, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. All morning. Happy <laughs> birthday to whoever's birthday it is. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thanks and many more me. on Channel 4. <laughs> all morning. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you for all the birthday songs all morning. <laughs> okay, it's, it's time for a grocery haul. And we're starting out with some birthday flowers Happy from birthday. my main squeeze. Thank you. Happy birthday. And look at this grocery haul. All two items. That's all that we're able to get from the... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought your flowers were part of the... No, I'm talking food food <laughs> from Sean's favorite store. And we have Simply Taters and some hot Italian sausage. This is actually going to be for your pizza tonight, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Not the potatoes but the hot Italian sausage. So you guys should see the random assortment of things I came home with. You will, you'll see it later. All right, friends, so doing a little check-in with you a few hours later, I have put myself together to look presentable on this fabulous birthday Friday. Birthday. Thanks. <laughs> we do have to have a little pep talk with old Ray Ray though, because uh, Sean's dad and stepmom are bringing their poodle who's like, what, 13 or something? Mm -hmm. um, so we don't know how Ranger is going to do around a small dog and Jumpin' Jack is what his name is. <laughs> and he's, he's a little feisty. I remember when um, they brought him last time, he was kind of nipping at Zoe a little bit and I don't see that flying real well with Ranger. So he'll be wearing his e-collar for sure. Um, yeah, so please hold. Zoe, are you ready to see your uncle? Ray anyway, Ray, are you going to behave yourself? <laughs> In case you are wondering what the sound of the rocks was, our pest guy is here. <laughs> Ranger is not a fan. Did you tell him about the yellow jackets? No. He's just doing a good job inspecting. Ray Ray is not a fan, though. Don't forget to buy your nose. By your doge. It's not only my birthday, it's gonna be your birthday. This is a whole birthday vlog. Mm -hmm. You're closing out on Monday. No. Tuesday is Sean's birthday. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. That's not true. This is a birthday vlog. Happy birthday. All right, y'all. So the pizza is out and proofing. The dough. The dough is out and proofing. Would you guys like to see the various veritables that I came up with at the nugget for topping? Um, we have pepperoni that is not shown here. Sean is going to get down with that. And then some hot Italian sausage. That's pretty much all he likes. So that's easy. Uh, I've got some mushrooms. I grabbed just a tomato because why not? I grabbed an onion because why not? Uh, some salmon because... Of course salmon goes on pizza. Actually, our friends who have the same pizza oven, she had said they tried uh, salmon and honey, right? 
pizza? Yep. Um, so I've grabbed a couple of packs of salmon, some bacon because bacon makes everything better, some prosciutto, some Italian dry salami, more prosciutto because I wasn't sure if there's a difference. Why not? And then some more mushrooms. And we also have artichoke hearts still, some sun-dried tomatoes, some minced garlic, some jalapenos, you know, the usual. This is just kind of a, a random array here. We'll see what pizzas we come up with. I probably, I'm not gonna show the whole making of the pizzas because you guys have seen that. I'll just show you what the final product is. Ranger, are you gonna be a good boy? Are you gonna be a good boy? This is the question. Nope. He's had a bad couple of days. Huh. We've had some struggles, haven't we? But not Zoe, she knows better. Yes. Hey friends, long time no see. Happy Saturday. I know, I didn't wind up picking up the camera at all yesterday um, after Sean's dad and stepmom came, but we had a really good time. We um, made pizzas and I, I wanted to show you guys the finished product, but we were all so hungry <laughs> by the time the pizzas were done that I was just like, let's eat. So, but it was, it was really good and they made some really fun um, pizza topping choices, gave me some additional ideas. You guys know I need additional ideas for my pizza. <laughs> so, but it was really, really good and we had a really nice evening. And now we are heading off to brunch. Well, it's breakfast. Brunch, brunch for us, because it's a little bit late for us to be eating yeah, breakfast. Wake up at five in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Um, and Ranger, I will happily report that Ranger did relatively well. Relatively well, all things considering. So his uncle Jack, the poodle, doesn't care for Ranger that much. Um, just because he's a little bit much, but you can't really blame him. So, But we are heading to brunch breakfast situation at our new favorite place, Friends with Benedict's. I realize that this lighting is absolutely horrendous, but it's not gonna get any better, so. <laughs> but I did want to pick up the camera and say hello, good morning. The birthday festivities are going to continue and I will be able to pick up my camera a little bit more now that um, Sean's dad and stepmom are gonna be heading home. So um, yeah, figured I'd say hello, good morning, happy Saturday. Watch out, cyclists. Oof, it's a struggle. <laughs> the hot rod over here. <laughs> <laughs> hot rod. Share the road. We're here! Friends with Benedicts, and your girl is hungry. And here comes Michelle. Uh, Michelle, hi. Oh, hi. 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 You're going to be on the vlog. Oh, hi. <laughs> Friends hi. with Benedicts. Another live report from our kitchen. I was actually gonna do it in the backyard and give you Sean's pouring water, not going to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Hey friends! So another live report from our kitchen. I was actually going to give you an update outside just to give you a little change of scenery. This is really weird with you so close to my face. Um, but our neighbors next door to us are actually building a, what is it, what is it called? He told you the technical name of it. Yeah, a gazebo. It's not a gazebo. It's like a, it's some form of a like patio covering is what it is, but there's a fancy name for it. Um, I think that they probably got it at Costco because they were talking, where's D3? <laughs> where's D3? Anyways, they're outside and he's up high enough to actually see me. So figured I would go ahead and bring this in here so I don't look like I'm a weird person talking to her internet friends. <laughs> But we are back from brunch and it was so good. We sent Sean's dad and stepmom back home, Sean's sister back home, and now we can continue on with our fun birthday weekend. I got the most fun um, cotton candy mimosa. You will see, you will at this point have already seen the clip, but that was so fun. Um, and then I also got a, a lavender mimosa that was absolutely beautiful and tasted like a million bucks. So, and I'm very proud of myself because I am a creature of habit. Let me know in the comments if you are the same way. Like, I find something that I love and I just stick with it. I don't like change. Like me. Like you. No. Well, no, yeah, you're the same way. You, you found love with me and you're... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're so funny. No, I'm talking about... Oh, food. Food and other things. Like, I will find, like, one particular thing and I'll just stay with that. Like, why... Why fix what's not broken? So the crab cake Benedict's that I had gotten the first time were amazing and it took everything in me to not get the same thing. But Sean and I made a little pact that we were not, we were gonna try all the Benedict's. So he stuck to his guns and got a new one. So then I was like, okay, I gotta get a new one. And it was so good. It was called the Sailor's Benedict. It had two poached eggs and they, the delicious hollandaise sauce over, there was crab shrimp and smoked salmon on like an english muffin oh so good you guys amazing a million trillion bucks but it is saturday and i need to finish up um editing the vlog today so that i can go up tomorrow and so that's kind of what i'm going to be doing today the sensi room is a total disaster i know a few people were um asking about well asking why i'm not uploading <laughs> like the room is in no condition to be uploading and it's just it's busy you know we're, our, our lives are busy and i'm just soaking up this birthday celebration that the both of us are having he's smirking to himself why are you smirking i don't know i tuned out like <laughs> So I feel like there's so much I need to get them caught up on because we really didn't talk that much yesterday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course he tunes out because that's just what he does. But um, yeah, so I think I'll show you kind of the progress. You guys saw from last week's vlog that we went to Ikea and got some new pieces for the room. I'm just kind of freshening things up and giving it a little update. So um, be working on that as well. So I think I better go because someone says story time with lisa is up but i'll be checking in with you guys in a little bit hey friends doing a check-in with you it has been several hours now guess what guess what the vlog is done the vlog is done it is 3 48 on saturday what? oh the one from last weekend last weekend no we're still living this one <laughs> but that feels so good because i'm i'm not stressing at all anyways there's always there's always some hiccup or something that happens and this went smooth it was fantastic so but your row berries are on our way back out we're going on a date <laughs> it is hot it is hot it's a toasty 84 degrees that's fahrenheit oh. friends um and it's it's a little toasty, miserable. but it's miserable. <laughs> yeah, and our friends in Florida, Arizona, oh. basically everywhere else that gets like real heat and humidity and things. Oh, this is real heat. This is god awful. It's okay. He just melts <laughs> at, this, at the sight of the sun. <laughs> but we are actually going to have more birthday festivities. We are on our way to a delicious steakhouse that we haven't tried yet. Um, sea nights. Yep. Sea nights. So that's going to be really exciting. I kind of perused the menu a bit. It looks good. Do you know what you're getting? Nope. Good. 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 It'll be a surprise. So figured I'd say, hi friends. Your girl's on top of things and we're going on a date. Happy birthday. So we have driven for like 
two minutes and the temperature gauge just jumped up to yeah. 88. Yeah, jumped. Like, <laughs> jumped! To the moon. Four degrees. And he's like, there! Now is it hot? <laughs> just like that too. By the way, can we just take a look at how cute my husband looks? You are so cute. I love the um, the black dress shirt. Yeah, you no tie. Wear it, I dress in Done. Black. No, I don't. Johnny well, Cash. You never see bright colors on my back. It's true. I better shut it down before we get caught here. Oh, geez. Here we go. <laughs> All right, friends, post dinner check-in with you guys. Typically, I like to do a little check-in, an update on the drive home, but we just took the drive home to reflect. <laughs> it was so good. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was incredible. Yeah, this is not the chef's kitchen. This is our kitchen. This is not the chef's kitchen. You are a chef. No, but I'm a cook. That was so good. That was incredible. And funny story, so the we so the general manager was waiting on us. Generally. Generally. And then also the bar manager was waiting on us as well. I guess they tag team it when we eat dinner so early. <laughs> but um no, the bar manager I actually wound up working with when um I was working at the men's warehouse. So it was so funny. I was like, Did you used to work at the men's warehouse? He's like, Yeah. It's like it's me. I was like, I used to work with you. He was like, oh, Christ. Like, I thought you guys looked familiar. So I just, I, it was like a hundred thousand years ago. So that's why it took a minute. But that dinner was incredible. Such a wonderful birthday celebration. Thank you. Time to relax. Time to relax. Time to, time to put my sweatpants on. They gave us free cheesecake and she sang to me. Yeah. It was very nice. All right. Time to chill for the night. Vlog is already done wrapped up so it is officially time to chill so good night friend. hey friends good morning and happy sunday sean actually just ran up to the grocery store um his preferred grocery store that is actually not close to the house <laughs> he actually drives out of his way to avoid the grocery store that is closest to our house but you guys already know the story behind that um so he's going to that grocery store grabbing a couple of things and then coming home, we were debating on doing What's Lisa Smelling. You guys know I've been loving doing like the early Sunday morning What's Lisa Smelling, but um, he let me sleep in this morning, <laughs> which was so nice. Um, and I'm sure you guys, if you're seeing the timestamp on this video, you're probably like, you slept in. <laughs> yeah. Um, typically, I will get up anywhere between like 4.45, 5 o'clock, and 6 in the morning, just depending on the dogs <laughs> um, during the weekend. Uh, during the week, Sean gets up really super early for work, so the dogs have gotten into the routine of getting up that early, so on the weekends they get up early because they're it's that's their that's their routine right they don't eat till 7 a.m but their bodies are like okay this is it's time to get up let's go let's get moving and typically on the weekends i'll let sean sleep in i will get up with the dogs come downstairs um but he let me sleep in today so it was really nice um so i slept until about 6 30 and um he was like do you want to do what's lisa smelling now and i'm like eh, no like i'm having a serious case of the allergies up in here <laughs> so I'm like I think I need a little bit to kind of get going before I start trying to guess 
what wax smells like. <laughs> so um, he, so he's like, I'm gonna go up to the grocery store. So he is up at the grocery store. I'm actually working on invoices. <clears throat> Since he's actually launching some new wall fan diffusers and new pods um, tomorrow. Amazing. So we've got a Spider-Man wall fan diffuser, super, super cute, and a Disney princess wall fan diffuser. Really super fun. So I'm just um, sending out invoices and stuff today to get ready for tomorrow. Um, ooh, while he's not home, let me show you the birthday cards I got for him. Well, yeah. I got it. So I get a couple of cards for him. Um, I'm, I'm always big into cards, but so I'll get like one serious one and then I'll typically get like one just like funny one. Well, I got two funny ones, one serious one. So let me show you. Okay. So I realized this was like a super hard right turn from like me just giving you an update and telling you about invoices. And then I'm like, Oh, let me show you birthday cards, <laughs> which by the way, I am tracking Sean down on my phone and he actually did go to the grocery store that's closest to the house. He said he was going to go to the one further away. So we all know what that means. He's going to come home super frustrated. Okay. So like I said, I typically will get one just like funny card or like, you know, whatever. And then one serious card. Well, you'll see. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. So Sean, um, he doesn't like to be made a fuss over. So naturally I grabbed this like big pop-up display <laughs> card. Um, and it lights up and plays music. Is this where, no, hold on. Right here. <laughs> So in case I haven't said anything, Sean's birthday is on Tuesday. So from this point forward, we are celebrating him. <laughs> so I've got that. He is actually going into work on Tuesday, at least for a little bit. So <clears throat> I'll be able to like set this stuff up. So got that. I've got my serious card. And then you guys, I could not resist. I could not resist. You guys. <laughs> It's a birthday burrito with googly eyes. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And it was the last one. I was like, oh, that has to be a thing. That has to be a thing. Breakfast burritos and googly eyes on his birthday. <laughs> it's amazing. So anyways, all right, I got to hide these again. Where is he? Still at the store. I wonder why he went there. <laughs> so that's kind of what we've got going on so far this morning. Um, we are still going to be going on a walk this morning, I believe. Typically, he likes to be going, like leaving right now. Um, maybe that's why he went to the closer grocery store that he does not prefer. But I don't know. We'll find out. So um, I'm going to work on getting some more invoices out before Sean gets home. And then I'll be checking in with you guys in just a little while. So I'm just working away on stuff that's launching tomorrow. <laughs> you guys, I can't with the cuteness. Oh, they're so cute. She's like, what, you talking about me? They're so bored when Sean's not home. <laughs> they're like... Mom is no fun. Mom is no fun. Aww. Let's see what he has to say for himself. He can't complain about being frustrated if he chooses to go to that store. Blinker. Always safe. <laughs> I saw what store you went to. Oh, do I have a story for you? <laughs> oh, well, story time with Sean. We know what that's going to entail. Weekly frustration. It's actually daily frustrations, really. So, do tell. Okay, so there I was. I was there driving to Safeway because yeah. I didn't want to go to Rayleigh's. Yeah. And I got a text from you. So I pulled over to the side of the road safely. Good. And then I looked at my phone to read the text. Yes. Saw that we were out of shells. We need the Olay shells. Yes. So I said, okay, I'll take one for the team. I'll go to Rayleigh's. So go there. And I did tell him he didn't have to. Like, we had enough to get through today. Yeah. Tomorrow we'd have to kind of make do with some smaller shells. Yeah. Anyways. But we wanted Olay. 
so I went there and I was going through my list. Everything was going good. I saw the list was getting smaller and I, they had everything so far. I go, what is it that they're not going to have? So I <laughs> turned the corner customer for, service for the. Oh, I didn't talk to anybody. It was nice. Cool. I did all this on self checkout. Okay. Um, went to the tortillas and then went to where the old ladies were and it's a different brand now. <gasps> so the old ladies what? aren't even there. I actually did laugh out loud. Oh. <laughs> so one or two things are going to happen. Uh, so these are the ones that are in the place of Olay. Okay. So we're they look either, good. They look good. We're either going to really love these more than Olay and then continue to have to go to that store or they're going to be worse than Olay and then we can officially be done okay. with it. So it was it was pretty funny. You had to be there. Anyway. No, that's pretty funny. That's the only <laughs> that's the only reason we go to yeah, that store. And that was the only thing that they didn't have was the Olay. And so yeah. We'll see. So either things are going to stay the same or officially we can break up with her. Break okay, up with so her. these are the shells of the week, I guess. Mm -hmm. But they look good. I mean, we'll see how they taste. So we'll give that the old college try. Let's see what else he came up with. All right. As we were. Okay. We have some brown sugar, golden brown. We have a California stir fry vegetable medley of sorts. Mm -hmm. We have three packs, <laughs> we've got three packs of chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. We've got the cutest doggos ever. Sharing a bag because they're Aww, best of friends. Oh, they are. Look at the way she's looking at you. she got her necklace on. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Uh, and then we also have a Caesar salad because my husband will not make me a Caesar salad <laughs> dressing. Caesar. I love you. You're the best. I just can't wait for you to Did make Did we address the green onions in the room? Room. We also have some green onions in the room. <laughs> uh, we've got some garlic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where's my pointer? Oh. <laughs> you're, you're getting it. You're almost here. We've got some parsley. This Italian parsley. Sure is Italian parsley. We have some. Min oh jeez. That's some minute white rice. A shallot. We love shallots up in this house. Some habaneros. Nice. Some white sesame seeds. Toasted. Toasted? Roasted. Are they roasted? Uh -huh. Oh, roasted. Look at that. I can read. Barely. Uh, we have two, two oh, cans of clams. Two. <laughs> Got some pineapple <laughs> juice. <laughs> this, we really are struggling. That's okay. That's Sunday. Um, where's my? Are you? Are you just giving up yeah, here? On, We're halfway on. through, and he starts walking away. We have <laughs> chicken broth. We've got garlic bread. Our favorite garlic bread. Ginger. Mm. Pasta. I'm here for it. The shells, as you guys know, we have the garlic and herbs olive oil, and. Soy sauce, low sodium, because that's what we care about. Yep. Nice, nicely done. What can you guys guess what we're having for dinner the next two nights? Hmm? Can it? Can it? All right, doggos, are you ready to go on a walk? You want to go on a walk? You want to go on a walk?
All right, you guys, our favorite Sunday routine. This looks exactly the same <laughs> every single weekend, but I always joke with Sean, I'm like, do you realize that they know exactly what we look like right now because it looks the same every single weekend? We're getting ready for the premiere with you guys. So yay, premiere time, it's Sunday. We've got less than two minutes and everyone's gonna be so disappointed there was no It's Friday shtick in this vlog. Oh. Ray Ray, are you ready? Zoe was born ready. <laughs> hey friends, doing a check-in with you. It has been a few hours and we are still going to be doing What's Lisa Smelling today and not to worry friends, we're doing it obviously later so that First of all, my nose holes are feeling better than they were this morning, but I can also be my true self. Yay! I can be loud <laughs> because the world is not sleeping. Um, it was funny, somebody actually asked this morning, so why does it matter if it's early in the morning or not? Here in California, I think there's a lot of other places like this, but like newer developed um, neighborhoods, the houses are pretty much on top of each other. So, and I think our neighbor just on this side of us that shares the side of the kitchen. I think that's their bedroom right here. Just cause I remember, remember when we walked through there when Jason was looking at that house? Yes. He has no idea. No. I think that's their bedroom on this side. So I'm like, I don't want to be screaming. Cause like if we're on the other side of the house, we can hear those neighbors yelling at their kids in the kitchen <laughs> and their dog. I think that. <laughs> so, um, anyways, so yeah, that's, that's why we talk about like me being too loud in the morning, but, um, when it's later like this, I can be my true natural self and it's, it's great. And you guys are here for it and I'm here for it. Sean, not so much, but that's okay. Before we do that, we are going to do a little bit of dinner prep because tonight's dinner does need to, the chicken needs to marinate for a couple of hours. So let's get to marinating. Prepared. <laughs> we, we have 
Um, prepared the chicken, have it marinating. It needs to marinate for a minimum of three hours or it can be overnight, but we just got a delivery in. Yep, because over the weekend we watched the was Chef, Chef Table, Table <gasps> on Netflix. It was awesome. We're gonna go back and watch a few more. Yeah. <clears throat> but they talked about, no. Yeah, that, yeah, right? No. It was, it was Shark Tank. We'll be right back. What? <laughs> Hey friends, so we just finished up marinating the chicken, or the chicken is currently marinating. We created the marinade, if you will. And I will. And you will. But over the weekend, we were watching all kinds of things. Um, one of our new favorite shows, Chef's Table, which is not about anything that we're gonna talk about, no. but check it check out. It out. Oh my gosh. Go. Yeah, awesome. And then on Shark Tank, Shark Tank, Shark Tank we were watching about some truffle shuffles and so then we got some sea salt, mm -hmm. not from them, but from somewhere else. I was gonna say, did you? Yeah. So he wants my very first reaction. Can you smell it from here? Can you smell it? No. Uh, you can uh, smell it. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh, I like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit worried. <laughs> I was a little bit worried because our first, I think I've had truffle something. I'm sure I've had truffle something. Like when we, when you treat me when we're like in Vegas pre-COVID and yeah. like all that, like I feel like at that place, was that in the Aria or something? Mm -hmm. That I probably had truffle something in there. Anyways, I like it. He thinks he's not so much of a truffle yeah, person. I don't think. We tried this truffle, oh, no. Sean got got. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's I'm a, gonna... That's okay, we'll save it for me. Here, taste it. Well, that's just salt. It just tastes like salt, but I didn't get any, well, Wait. A little truffle on the back end? Yeah, a little truffle on the back end. All right. I'll take it. We're trying, folks. We're, We're trying, trying to excite things. <laughs> but no, um, Sean actually had gotten got on a Facebook ad. No shocker there. Uh, there was a truffle hot sauce. Uh-huh. We, mm-mm. Mm -mm. No. I love me, apparently. I love me some like. truffle. Is that, <laughs> do you have some PTSD from that? I, I think it smells good, so. Anyways, figured we'd show you. We've got some new fancy truffle. Black truffle sea salt. Mm -hmm. I will learn to love truffles. Give it a try. So something kind of funny, during today's vlog premiere, my girl Tracy was like, I wanna know about all the dirty dishes you guys make. Uh, I was wondering when someone was going to notice or ask about that because uh, with all of the like fancy cooking and stuff that Sean does, um, I, call, I call it fancy because it is it's fancy for us, but especially pizza night, creates a massive amount of dishes. In fact, we still have some pizza peels and stuff to hand wash and clean, but um, yeah, that's that's a real thing. Like, <laughs> there's so many dirty dishes that wind up being washed. It's, it's insane, but um, yeah, I would say pizza night is entirely my fault because since Sean likes his pizzas to be simple, just pepperoni, sausage, cheese, you know, he's he's good to go. I'm the one that creates a lot of like dishes <laughs> and things, but even like this marinade and this marinade and everything that um, Sean like put together for tonight's dinner creates a lot of dishes. So um, yes, we got a crap ton of dishes. <laughs> we, we do dishes all the time around the clock. And I will say shout out to my husband. He actually really likes doing dishes. We, um, we have a system so I unload the dishes. <clears throat> he prefers to load the dishes. He doesn't like the way I load it. Um, so he loads the dishes and then anything that needs to be hand washed, we kind of tag team together. Um, but yeah, dirty dishes, it's a real thing. Yep, it's real life, folks. <laughs> there are dirty dishes in the Roberry sink. Yeah, in fact, Sean was saying, I think we need to go back to uh, the good old days where What's Lisa Smelling had the dishwasher going in the background. So yeah. That's gonna be a thing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello and welcome to another episode of What's Lisa Smelling? Your girl is back. Your girl is back. I'm allowed to be loud because it is 3.28 in the afternoon and I don't care who can hear me. Woo! Woo! Ba, da. Sean was saying that we're, am I taking this line from you? We're taking it back. Old school. Old school, because there. we got the dishwasher going. Yep. If you are newer to our channel, hello and welcome. We do this fun game show. Totally not something we take seriously. This is just a fun thing that we like to do. And man, from where it started to where we are now, mm 
wait till we break out the green screen, it's, y'all. It's been a journey. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, we didn't thank our band leader. We band Sorry. leader. We would like to thank our band leader. That would be Courtney. Thank you so much, Courtney. Whoop whoop. Courtney is uh, leading the band this evening uh, for episode six twenty one of What's Lisa Smelling. It's afternoon, not really evening. It's it's evening. It's almost there. <laughs> Uh, we do have a new sponsor this week. They do pay a lot of money to be here, so let's make sure we get this spot in here. We'd like to thank oh, our friends Mountain over. Dew. Sorry. Our friends over at Mountain Dew. Code Red. Live by the code. There. I used to love this yeah, stuff. I think oh we all did. man, is it is Code Red still around, right? Or did they? I don't think so. I did they it. give it the boot and it's blah 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 now? In eons. In eons. <laughs> so I don't know. All right, let's uh, get to the winner from the trivia question. I used to love this stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, the winner goes to our friend Adrian. We at the end of the vlog we put in a little trivia question just for fun, and uh, Adrian won. So the question from last week was. What was the first fruit that was eaten on the moon? Answer is peaches. There it is. You learn something new every Who day. Who knew? Who knew? Adrian. Adrian, Adrian knew. knew. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Next, we have our first three. First three comments. First three comments, yes. Yes, yes. That yes. are going to be featured here. So this is from our friend Shill M. And she says, or they say, the intro is so pretty. Thank you so much, since. It, our countdown, <laughs> our countdown got the boot. I'm working on a little intro to the vlogs, so I'm just playing around with some things. So thank you. I'm glad you like it. Next one. Oh, Zoe! If you can't see these pictures because it's hard to see, just um, stay tuned for the end if you would like. This is from our friend Sassy Danny. Hey, Danny, my girl Danny. She says, "Love you guys. You're so cute." Fun fact: When I lived in Seattle. Safeway was my favorite too. Back in the day, the 90s, they made a mean cheap roast beef sandwich on a baguette. Oh, mm, mm. so uh, did your hubs just squawk like a bird when he first saw it? Yeah, my husband makes a lot of interesting noises. You may hear him. I mean, it's it, it, lots of interesting noises. He whistles lots. He squawks. He, there's, yeah, I, I'll, I go on a whistling rampage when I get home. And the. Or whatever you do all the time. Like sometimes I'll hear it in the background on the vlogs, and I'm like, I'm sure people are wondering, what is that noise? Very <laughs> special husband. Yes. Was that three? Was that all three? Uh, no, two. that was only two. That was two. Just having so much fun. Oh, the dog walks. And this one is from our friend Emma. She says, I love the vlog. I love the long vlogs and look forward to them every Sunday. Thank you so much. I, that that means a lot today. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like today's vlog. I don't know. It just I don't know. I'm, We're trying to spice it up. Trying right? to spice it up. This is this is just I don't know. Thank you. I appreciate it. She also says, "P.S. I'm a professional groomer, and Zoe's undercoat is killing me. Girl's killing me too. In fact, I actually left you a reply. And I was like, I will pay you to come and take care of it. Mm -hmm. um, she is part husky, so I feel like let me know since you're a professional. Is husky coat is different, right? So they're actually going to be getting a bath later. So here's hoping that's going to help because I'm sure it drives her crazy. And that'll certainly spice things up on the. Oh yeah, we're going to do something different. <laughs> we're going to give our dogs a bath. That's crazy. Woo! All right. Oh, uh, let's see. You've got your coffee there. But we also <laughs> some vintage. You are so funny. <laughs> we have yeah. our vintage coffee bean container. Oh, did you put? I some took in the here? liberty of filling it up for oh, you. Oh, thanks. Am I gonna make it go everywhere? I think you just keep, keep oh, it right perfect. there on your phone. Oh, because what? Ooh. keep the lid off. I know I will, but um, yeah, how cute is that? I wish Sensi still made these. Um, this is an official Sensi product at one point back in the day, because when you have home parties and you need to freshen your sniffer, or if you're doing what's Lisa smelling, there you go. And you just That's keep so it right nice. on your podium. Oh, thank you. No, you're right so where it's at. Sweet. Okay. How are we gonna do today, sir? I think you're gonna do really good. I actually feel like I'm gonna do well. Yeah. I, I'm feeling pretty good, so who knows, maybe this will be the new time slot. I like to be able to scream mm -hmm. you're, when no, I get you're, things. You're already doing really great. <laughs> I'm already doing really great. <laughs> and for anyone who's new, yes, this this is a thing. <laughs> so if we're going retro, then I shouldn't have to wear the, the nah, mask. No. I should be able to just sniff and see color. No. No chance. That's true. Everybody does love the, the googly eyes. Googly eyes. <laughs> okay. Um, because your girl's got a pony. Gotta put a little bit tighter. Okay. All right. Uh, finger and nail count for Ranger Ooh. Day. 35 for my birthday. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Good job, Ranger. 
Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. Here goes something. All right. Um, here we go. Here we go. Let's have some fun, shall we? Let's have some fun. See, maybe it was a good thing that this morning my allergies were not allowing me to yeah, smell. That was, that was rough this morning. That was rough. Oh. This is kind of masculine. Is this mystery man? It sure is. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm allowed to scream now. Woo, woo, woo! Yay! Except that they probably are taking their nap. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, All right, one for one. Nicely done. A nap at three thirty. Yeah. Thank you. This is a good start. Anytime's a good time to take a nap, as they say. <laughs> as as you say. Yeah. He's like, I'll take a nap any time of the day. This does give me some like flashbacks with having the, the, the old washer, the old washer, dishwasher going. Oh. This is, oh, I know this. Is this very blessed? It sure is. Oh, yeah! Are you for real? Oh. Woo! Kill it. Woo! Yes. Get it, girl. I am. And I will. And that's girl with a U. U. G. U. R. L. Girl. Oh, yes. I was telling Sean earlier, I was like, maybe, maybe you guys want to see me get things wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, maybe that's why you guys are thinking that vlogs are boring. You guys didn't say that. I put, I put those words in your mouth. Oh, Ooh, I love this. I did pick out some really good ones. Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> This is really nice. I do think I'm gonna have to come back to it. Okay. This is... Oh, they're so nice. I'm gonna have to come back to it. Very well. I really like it though. Okay, what do we got well, here? There goes Sorry, that was wrong. There goes my winning streak. Didn't I just say you guys wanted to see me get it wrong? No, we'll circle back and get it. Yeah. Alright. Number four. Oh. This. Oh man, this is a tough one. Ah. No. Because it's kind of, um, this is kind of musky, kind of romantic, I think. Is this satin sheets? No. No. no, I'm sorry, it's not. Not at this time. You're right, I don't think it is. It's kind of, it's kind of musky romantic though, to kind of like that. Cashmere and oh, then cashmere okay. pear. Oh, okay. So because you said cashmere, yeah. I knew that there was a second word. Yeah. Okay. Half a point. Half a point. I, I was honest. See, I could have let you just give me the full point. Not that like I get anything for this, any <laughs> of this anyway, but. <sighs> okay. Here we go. <sighs> Number five. This is number five. Mm -hmm. We're kind of getting through this kind of fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Summer holiday. Wow. Ah! <laughs> I love this. Right? I got it right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Woo! Very much so. Oh, yay. Oh, I love this. That, this... Is, that one is really nice. Is it? It's yep. nice. It's it's floral, but it's kind of, it's it's a summery floral. It's, it's hard to describe, but it's beautiful. I love it. <sighs> number six. So far, I just have to come... 
Do I have to come back to one? Yeah, we just gotta circle back to that one. The number three, I think it was. Number six. Oh, jeez, that scared me. You popped it in my hand, which is such oomph. <laughs> is this, is this that shit? It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Now this smells like satin sheets. How funny. <laughs> that would have been really bad if I got this wrong. Yeah, that's why I was kind of <laughs> chuckling inside. <laughs> You're really, we do need to put a Sean cam on you for reactions. Yeah. I will work on that because that would be hilarious. Oh, yes, I love that. Okay, so I got five. Five? And now I just need, well. About four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah. And so I just have to come back to the one that I'm unsure of, but I really like. It's, so, which means it's probably in our club. Probably. <laughs> and I'm going to have to give you some hints. We're going to go down the old hint hole. The old hint Oh, you guys, <laughs> I know, who, are, who comes up with it? Well, he comes up with these terms. I just love this. I love this. It's, I feel like it's fresh fruity in a sense of like, this gives me white tea and cactus vibes. That's not what this is, right? No. Okay. This gives me that kind of vibe. I feel like saying it not. It doesn't. I'm not saying that this smells like this, and this isn't a guess. But like same kind of vibes as like. No, maybe not. I don't want to say something. <laughs> maybe it's. Maybe I'm smelling floral now. I feel like you put a whole bunch of floral in my nose holes, and mm. now I'm smelling floral. I sure did. Yeah. Cause this is lighter, lighter than the, the ones that I've been smelling. Gosh, I know this. This is this is the hard part of this. Is that like you smell it, and you're like, oh yeah, I know this. Hold on, see, it's like right there. Like you know how you're, you like remember something, you're like it's on the tip of my tongue. Mm -hmm. That's what this is doing to me right now. I know this. Shout it out when you know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you playing along at home. Gosh. I don't think you've thrown any guesses out there. I did. I, well, kind of. I said it's it's giving me the white tea and cactus vibes, and yeah. I said it's not, right? And you said, right. Right. Because I don't want to be wrong. And I feel like I'm going to get this one wrong. <laughs> three, has this been three weeks in a row? If I get this wrong, well, I'm going to get this wrong. Um, three weeks in a row, I've done five or six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna make me real upset that this is gonna be in my club. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed. Um, I'm not ready for the skew yet, but I, I, I know I'm gonna get this wrong. Um, is this considered fruity? Are we going down the hint? The old hint hole. Yeah, we are. I just said I'm not ready for skews, but. Yeah, I'm gonna get it wrong. Uh, f yeah, yeah, we'll go fruity. Is it. there some floral in this too? Mm. Or no? Yeah. I really wish I would have yeah, gotten this. Yeah, one. yeah. Is there? Well, yeah, if that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like those strong floral scents kind of like, or musky, if you will, kind of messed me up a little bit. Huh? I said we'll blame it on Ranger. Okay. All right, what's the skew? Very well. The, the skew is 15761. Nobody knows the skews. It is not available. I knew it wasn't available. Other than it's probably in our club. The front of it is a Bring Back My Bar. It is purple. Oh, it's purple. The label is purple, but the wax is green. What? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what? I thought, you, I thought you would get it if I said it. Well, what? <gasps> Shut up. It's Huckleberry Sage. Ding, ding, ding. This was my very first sexy heartbreak, and it is in our club. <laughs> <sighs> Take this off now. Yes, 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 yes. Oh man, that's hilarious. So yeah, basically the only ones you don't get are the ones in our club. <laughs> I mean, man, this is my first sense of heartbreak. This is the this is what I tell everyone. Like this is the reason you start a sensey club. I'm like, because I will always remember, just like yesterday, when Sensi decided to not bring back Huckleberry Sage, mm. I was so upset, you guys. I was like flipping through the catalog like they had made a mistake. This was the first thing I put into our Sensi club. I believe it. It's club worthy, it's good. Man! <laughs> I would say this is more of a navy blue rather than purple. Oh, that is very purple. Really? This is navy blue. Leave a comment. <laughs> yes. Do you feel like this is navy yeah. blue? Is or? the dress, uh, what is that? Man. What is that, silver and gold or teal and purple or whatever it was? It, it, yeah, gold and white or yeah, something. Um, what What was the scent description on this? Just because I want to, I do, I will say, like, for my defense, like, um, summer holiday and satin sheets and cashmere pair are all, like, stronger like, floral-based scents, I feel like. And then going back to this, I think I really kind of messed myself up because mm. man man what's the description the description is tart ruby cranberries and sweet purple huckleberries dusted with silver sage yeah so sage uh, that's what you were thinking like sage is floor. herbal not necessarily yeah. floral yeah man. dang at least i got it based on that you telling me that yeah. but mm. had i had that oh man had that gone to the description like, I'm already really upset with myself, but <laughs> all right. All right. Well, let's get to our second set of three comments. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just so disappointed in myself. A four out of five, four and a half <laughs> ain't bad. Yeah, so it ain't bad. All right. Yeah. All right. Next three comments. <laughs> <laughs> Should I turn it this way? Yeah. What'd you like that? Okay. So the next comment is from our friend Brianna. She said, I didn't think you were gonna get Belle Enchanted Rose, but when you said Cinderella, I was like, no, but close, get it girl, I know. Oh man, that's funny. Next one. <laughs> Lisa's excited. With the pooping pooch calendar in the background. This is from our friend Melissa. I was just thinking, interesting calendar. <laughs> is that a dog pooping? Yep. Sean got it for me as a gag gift years ago and I just, I love it, and we keep buying it because it's hilarious. Yeah, number six. <laughs> Lisa's excited again. <laughs> and this one is from our friend Kim. Hi, Kim. Love, love, love your vlogs. Uh, helps with the Smondays <laughs> for sure. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. Okay. Excellent. Let's get to our second spot from our sponsor. They do pay a lot of money to be here. Nobody our friends over me. at Mountain Dew. Code Red. Code Red. Live by the code. All right, Christopher in the band, take us away. <laughs> Thank you so much, Christopher. Whoop, whoop. Four and a half out of sixteen. Hey, friends, look at us. Sean's putting on his safety belt. Don't tell me. Don't tell anybody. Uh, we're actually not leaving the neighborhood. <laughs> we are going on an adventure. We're actually just going a couple blocks over to go buy a computer. So, uh, but figured we would get the dogs in, in for a little truck ride. Get them all excited for a five minute <laughs> <laughs> truck ride, if that. So figured I would go ahead and bring you along with us on this super short adventure. All right, and quicker than a quick thing. Mm -hmm. The dogs are tired-ish, thirsty. Sean's got his new yeah. Situations. I gotta start mining. I'm gonna mine. He's gonna be a miner. Gotta get that, <laughs> that cryptocurrency. Yep. Yeah. It's true. Buy so. Doge. Yeah, buy Do Doge. Doge to the moon. Let us know in the comments if you are aware of what we're talking about and if yeah. you are a Doge purchaser as well. It's another cryptocurrency like uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. And it's, it's going to the moon. 
and apparently yeah. Sean is going with it to well, the moon. Yeah, today is what, the 19th, 18th? Today's the 18th. 19th. 18th. 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 Tomorrow's the 19th. And I think it's around 30 cents a coin right now, so when we watch this back in a week, we'll see. Oh yeah, that'll be a good little indication yeah. of how much has grown or not. Yes. Yeah, now we're heading back home. And would you, would you look at that? Just wow. from just from when I started talking to you guys, we're now home. That was an adventure. All right, we are back home, and your rowberries are hungry. It is 5:22. The man is getting hangry yeah. because we eat early. But that's okay. We're gonna be billionaires here pretty soon. <laughs> this is true, billionaires. That's us. Um, yeah. So we're gonna whip up dinner. Yay! Look who's back to cooking. You guys, how amazing does this look? And this is the first time that we are making, Sean, Sean <laughs> is making this dish. This is actually, did, did, did I assume, or is this a Hawaiian dish? Hawaiian. It is Hawaiian. Hawaiian dish, yeah. So, so yummy. Let's hey friends, dinner is done and it was, it was amazing. Five out of five stars. Uh, the only thing I would say, the only thing, there is a thing. I like more sauce. <laughs> so I would say like make additional sauce or have some teriyaki sauce to be able to like drizzle over top of it. Then it would be five out of five stars. But we are going to continue this production train going. We're gonna give the dogs a bath here in the yard. Um, they both desperately need it, so enjoy the poop show friends
Hey friends, happy Monday. I am checking in with you guys much later than I like to when doing these vlogs, but it's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday and it has been a pretty typical busy work day for me. Um, we've been doing some stuff around the house, but also I've been doing a bunch of like sensi work and stuff. Today was a launch day. Um, we launched our new Disney princess um wall fan diffuser and then the spider-man wall fan diffuser along with the sensi pods as well that go along with them that launch was smooth like butter it was fantastic i would love it if all launches went like this so it was um a pretty good pretty busy morning but um figured i would go ahead and say hello um we are actually just getting ready for the q a and then we'll be doing dinner a little bit later Sean, happy birthday. It's not my birthday. <laughs> it's his birthday tomorrow, but we're going to start celebration now. Oh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so we're just getting ready for the Q&A and answer your, your guys' questions. Ouch. Are you guys ready for Q&A? Zoe's ready for the Q&A. We still got a br brush you, sis. Yes, I know. Oh, hey. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. Mm -hmm. Time for Q&A with the Rowberries. Whoop, whoop. Yes, it is. Da -da. All right, Otis, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Otis. Hello, and welcome back to everyone's favorite talk show within a vlog on YouTube. This week's episode is brought to you by Sean's Product of the Week, which is... Oodles of Orange Scentsy Bar! Yes. <laughs> a lot of you guys were cracking up about the Q&A that went up mm. yesterday, Yesterday, which yeah. for you was last week, which was about how we almost got a divorce because I did yeah. not um, put Oodles of Orange into our Scentsy Club. Yes. And it's coming back in June, but it is. luckily I found a consultant east of the Mason-Dixon line. And uh, yeah, Jackie from New York. Thank Jackie! You. Whoop whoop! Mm. We love you, Jackie. Oh, so nice. I love you, Jackie. You saved my marriage. <laughs> so nice. But in June, it is going to go into our club, so not to worry. Yes. Not to worry. Yes, yes. Uh, well, uh, welcome everyone. This welcome. very well may be the last Q&A, <laughs> <laughs> depending on uh, how many questions, if any, come in. But Hence why you got yeah. so dressed up for if the occasion. It is, if it is the last one, I'm going to go out with a bang. <laughs> with your tuxedo. All right, let's get into it. First one. Woo! This could be a quick one, y'all. This first one is from our friend Joshua. Hi, Joshua. Would you like me to read the questions since I'm just joking. Yeah. I'm just joking. <laughs> this one's uh, from Joshua and wanted to know how long I lived in Utah and whereabouts. Uh, I was from, I guess, negative nine months to about five, <laughs> five, negative nine months. <laughs> so I uh, five or six years old in uh, the Salt Lake area, uh, from Salt Lake. And, uh, we had, we Neg lived who even think negative nine months? Well, you can say gestational. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, anyways. All right. So you, thinking, you were born there. Yeah. You apparently you were conceived there, too. <laughs> That's true. That, that is very true, as far as I know. Uh, and then wants to know if I ever care to go back. I would like to go back to visit. I've, once moved out, my dad's side of the family, is still, and they still do live there. And growing up, I would go out there uh, once, maybe twice a year, mostly just once a year during uh, summer vacation. And go see everyone it's on, beautiful. on my dad's side. It is it is very nice. Um, and he thanked me for being dope. So thanks, Joshua. Did you say whereabouts? Yeah, in Salt so, so like, Lake. Okay. Yeah, there, I forgot the name of the other city. If you're watching on the premiere, Michelle or mom will probably yeah. uh, type in and let everyone know. <laughs> Verify. Murray. I think it was Murray. Murray. Yeah. That sounds right. Murr. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you so much, Joshua. Whoop, whoop. One. This next one's from? This next one is from our friend Amber. Hi, Amber. Amber wants to know if there's anything else that the pizza oven can be used for. Have we tried cooking any vegetables in it and is the cleanup quick and easy? Uh, yeah, I would say that you could probably use it for veggies that would cook up quicker than a quick thing. Uh, the last two times that we did the pizza oven, I got it up to uh, registering over a thousand degrees yeah. on the back side of the oven. 
Uh, I would say probably if you're going to use it for veggies, go with the probably the 16 inch. Is the 12 is just is really uh, really pretty tight in there. So uh, more for like personal pizza size. Yeah, and I, I think on their website too they do make small little cast iron uh, yeah. pans that you can buy from like from mac them. And yeah, I do like a fried mac and cheese uh, would be really 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 nice. Uh, and it's clean up quick and easy. It is incredibly easy. I just use a shop vac. And actually, we actually got to clean it maybe yeah. today. Uh, maybe we'll get that on. Yeah. Maybe we'll get that on camera. Maybe. Yeah. Five bucks says we probably don't, but we'll. See. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I got five bucks that says we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just use a shot vac. The, all the ash and everything from the wood and the uh, charcoal just contained in this little, uh, this little pan that there in the back, and so you just vacuum that out. Vacuum uh, whatever toppings may have fallen off. Because uh, old girl here likes to stack that pizza high. Put all the things on. Yeah. <laughs> and you throw it in with some gusto. Yes, I do. The other thing I do want to say, because I've we've gotten a couple of questions now, um, both about the amount of pizzas that we make. Um, we started out doing that many because we weren't sure if like there would be some that would get ruined in the process since this is a learning curve. Um, but Sean is amazing and you didn't ruin any of them ever, no. even from day one. Uh, so we have just been enjoying lots of leftovers. So, um, you know, we, I eat cold pizza. Sean suggests to just like reheat it either in the oven or if you've got like a little toaster oven or something. Um, and then the other question we've been getting a lot of is, what about the first pizzas that you start making? Um, don't those get cold? And so we learned the oh. first time that yes, yes they do. the first ones do get cold. So what Sean has been doing now is we set the oven, the in indoor oven to warm because there's a warm feature on there. We didn't know until recently. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you can just put the pizzas in there um, and set it to warm and then they'll stay nice and warm until you're ready to eat them. That's it. And then take them all out at, yep. at once, cut them up, serve. Delicious. Delicious. All right. Thank you, Amber from Texas. Thank you so much, Amber from Texas. Whoop, whoop. Ooh. Take me out. Okay. This next one is from. This next one is from our friend Sheena. Hey, girl. Hey. Sheena. Uh, Sheena saw something. Oh. I didn't highlight it, uh, but she loves story time. Thank you. Mm. I appreciate it. <laughs> Sean does not love story time no. with Lisa, and no. that's okay. Um, she was talking about the Tournament of Champions, uh, one of the Food Network shows that we were watching, and uh, wanted to know who I was cheering for, who I thought was going to win. And spoiler alert, by the time this is going to be up, I think the show will be over. I just saw who won. Oh, you did? I did. By, by mistake. I, it, it just came up on my feed. Aww. So I know who's going to win. Uh, that was not the person that I was rooting for, but still pretty cool that he or she won. So I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, and then, well, since I just said that, this kind of gives us this way too. Uh, the other people that I was hoping may or may not win, <laughs> <laughs> who may or may not still be in the running to win the whole thing, is uh, Brooke Williamson, Christian Petroni, and Antonio Lafaso. Yeah, Antonia. Antonia, Antonia Lafaso. Yeah, so that, they, they that's might my girl. all. Yeah, they, they probably all won. Um, they probably all won. <laughs> yeah, they're doing great. Oh, man. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sheena. Whoop, whoop. Ooh, that went straight for the camera. This next one is from? This next one is from Jacqueline. Hey, Jacqueline. That's our girl, Jacqueline. That's our girl. Uh, she notices, we get in a lot of questions about the gloves that I wear when, when we're cooking or prepping. Um, I just get some some black nil, uh, nitro uh, gloves on Amazon. Just cheap old gloves. Um, yeah, no, and and why do you use them? Because you get asked all the time, and you'll continue to get asked. Yeah, I don't know. It just <clears throat> sometimes with uh, certain prep or like uh, onions and garlic. Uh, you know, if you don't want your fingers smelling like garlic for three days, you could wear some gloves. Or, He's gotta uh, fight me off when he smells like garlic. Cause yeah. I'm like, I <laughs> um, uh, oil as well. Like I, I got pretty sensitive skin, so like having to wash uh, my hands. Uh, constantly uh, with that so it just makes it easier for cleanup and then sometimes I'll do the old double glove when I need to slice some meat and it's really hot so that helps with the temperature uh, they also you can get like a, almost like a cotton glove and then get uh, get that down first and then uh, oh that's smart mostly for like barbecue hot. and yeah and that's the, smart and the barbecue scene all right thank you so much thank you so much Jacqueline whoop whoop oh <laughs> And oh good, it came back because we weren't done. Yeah, I want to know if I 
use a new pair each time or use uh, multiple gloves and then yeah just a new one each time um sometimes i'll keep it on and then if i'm just doing a little bit of prep and then wash it while it's on my hand and then reuse it for the rest of the prep but that's it thank you so much let's try it again another try whoop, whoop. there we go all right all right uh just a, two more this next one's from our friend ari uh, hi the, ari ari with the rapid round uh your favorite girl scout cookie Oh, um, the, the, the Samoas, the Samoas ones. It's not Samoas anymore. Oh, sorry. Sorry if that was offensive. <laughs> the Caramel Delights. There you go. Is that what it is? <laughs> they used to be called Samoas wow. back in the day. <laughs> wow. Gabe Boomer. <laughs> back in my day. Uh, your favorite sport? Uh, uh, my answer was the same too, the Samoas. <clears throat> favorite sport? I, I I don't really care about sports. Uh, I really enjoy baseball. There you go. Baseball. Mm -hmm. I would say football for me. Mm -hmm. Probably more college football than professional football. But um, I do yeah. like I do like college football. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Like when you go to the games, like that's super super fun. Yeah, we went to a USC game years ago, mm -hmm. and it was the absolute. That was a blast. Best, best that was a blast. Time. Absolute best time. And the last one. Any apps on your? Any games that you play on your iPad? On my iPad, there's only one game that I play, and it's I as took of, as of right now. As of right now, there are about a hundred different games. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> I just I'm busy, so I don't play my games nearly as much as I used to. There used to be this food truck game that I used to love. Can't even remember the name of it anymore. Um, and then Heyday, or is it? It is yeah. Heyday. Yeah. Heyday. I love Heyday. I actually took several years off, and then. This guy, he he disrupted he, he disrupted the beast, yeah. <laughs> and he like he did the intro like he had the volume up and he did the intro on the iPad and I was like what <laughs> <laughs> and he like disrupted the beast and I haven't I haven't put it down since yeah. so we we've, we've been playing that I mean we played that for years yeah. we had our own little neighborhood and we had like it was so fun yeah. he doesn't play anything anymore but just like in the evenings when we're just kind of chilling then I'll. I'll Play, mess around with heyday yeah, we were all few. in on heyday like i mean all in i mean you, all set, in. you set timers to <laughs> to get in and, yeah. and do your crops and other yeah. other stuff and yeah, it's fun we're, you know just it's mindless stuff that's just kind of fun to unwind and relax it with. was so much so we went with my dad and stepmom to mexico for their timeshare yeah and we brought it with us and yeah. we're playing it a bunch in mexico yeah <laughs> it's like who goes on vacation is and is playing heyday yeah yeah, but we were addicted. Big time. <laughs> we were addicted. Now I just enjoy it. I'm not addicted anymore. I'm not, you know, we're not spending money on diamonds and stuff no. anymore because we were doing that. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a slippery slope. <laughs> it is a slippery slope. But yeah, so that's that's the game I And then what's the other, the, the, the uh, Candy Crush saga. Candy Crush, yeah. yeah I crush it with Candy you do, Crush. You do crush it. Yeah, I'm really good at that game. Yep. All right, thank you very much, Ari. Thank you so much, Ari. Whoop, whoop. Is that 12 or 17? That's 12. Nice. All right. Wow. Last one. This is from our friend Laura. This last Hi, one Laura. This is from Laura. I'm sorry I was talking over you. Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> last one. This one's from our friend Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Laura has a question for Lisa. Oh, hi. Wants to know what inspires you to try mixing scents. She was organizing her wax and decided to try Luna and lavender cotton. Ooh. Just wondering what inspires you. How was it? Let, let us know in the comments how it was. You usually hang out with us during the premiere, so let us know Let us know how, how that mix was. That sounds amazing. You don't typically really like lavender cotton but i bet if we mixed luna you would really like it that's a really good mix i think we'll try that um honestly i feel like i started mixing when there was a scent that i didn't really care for and i thought how can i make this better <laughs> so um or if there was a scent that i was like i love this but i want there to be more of a bakery element so really what i started with was mixing sugar cookie with anything that i wanted or vanilla bean buttercream with anything else that i wanted to have more of a bakery element to so i started doing that and then it just got to oh i don't really care for this but i'm not going to throw away wax so how what can i mix with this what may be similar or what is this scent lacking that i want so if it's more floral i i want to find something sweet to kind of balance that floral so then i'll look for something sweet and 
you can even do like a bakery scent with a floral and i know that sounds crazy but it's so so good wait you can do that you can do that wow. there are no rules when wow. it comes to home fragrance wow i know um <clears throat> but also like you may see a lot for like what I've been warming and stuff, um, some different mixes. And I'll talk about how I'll do different scents and alternating warmers downstairs. It's because we have several warmers downstairs and I may not have enough bars in one particular scent to have it go throughout the entire downstairs. So I'll be like, okay, well, what is going to be complementary to this scent? So like, um, down here, we actually have a mix going right now of by the sea and make a splash make a splash So make a splash is a really nice. I know I know no, no, no. no you're good. Okay. I just I'm looking something up real quick Okay. No, keep going. Okay. Do, do it's thing. story time. I yeah. know. I just, I get passionate. Um, Make a Splash is actually a beautiful, I am so obsessed with it right now. Um, it's new to the spring and summer season and it is more of a fruity aquatic kind of scent. And so, but I also have uh, by the sea and I, and that's just a nice clean salty sea air aquatic scent as well. So I was like, this is going to be a nice balance, but the make a splash is going to add an extra sweetness and some of the warmers. And so it's nice and clean and aquatic and also just a little bit sweet down here. That's perfect. So yeah, that's, I hope that helps. I hope that answers questions. So you were wrong with one thing. There is one rule for home fragrance. What? There are no rules. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yep. If you want to, if you want to melt you, or warm your heavy bakery Christmassy scents in the middle of July, I am not one to yeah, judge. You Enjoy. do you. Enjoy. That's going to wrap things up. Thank All you right, so much. Thank you so much, Laura. Whoop, whoop. And if you have any questions, if you have any questions, you can send them in to <laughs> roberryvlog at gmail.com. All right. Otis in the band, take us away. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram. You'll see. We, we didn't really. Boop, One time she's going to actually boop, do it. Boop, boop. <laughs> uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for the questions. Send them in if you're interested. <laughs> Otherwise, it was nice chatting <laughs> with you guys. <laughs> Adios. All right. Bye guys. Woo -woo. All right. So obviously Q and A is done. I just actually finished up with a coaching call with my girlfriend, um, who is obviously on my team. It's so fun to be able to connect and just kind of hang out. We were on FaceTime, so it's, it's like hanging out with a girlfriend. So it was really nice. But while I was doing that, my husband is amazing. Shout out to my husband for, um, assembling some of my Ikea stuff, my additional two Ikea pieces and baskets arrived today. So my man's been busy at work That's putting right. that stuff together. So it's amazing. I'm so excited. So I'm hoping to hopefully um, get most of the uh, like work done in the Sensi room, hopefully tomorrow. So that way I can get back to business here, but it's gonna look so good. Here's a couple of the pieces that he put together. So these I think are gonna go under the, these are under the bar wall. Yes. Yes. Three, <laughs> these, three of those. Yes, three of these under the bar wall. And then we have two other like larger pieces that are similar to that. That's gonna go in what used to be the closet. Ray. And, Ray, Ray. <laughs> Then I also got six of these baskets also from Ikea, uh, ordered online. They were delivered today. So those will go, I think, in the bottom row of the situation under the bar wall. We'll see. So interesting that they came packed like this. Like I figured, I don't know, I don't know what I thought, but I don't know. I thought they'd be not packed like that, <laughs> but it's all good. They didn't come damaged or anything. So that's all that counts. You can't stop this guy. <laughs> you are just working away, but it's your birthday. It is my birthday and I'm still working. <laughs> oh, those look nice. I like it. Do you like it? I do like it. Thanks. Voila. 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 That was easier than the others. <laughs> Quicker than a quick thing. Quicker than a quick thing. Our friends said that they didn't get enough puppy action in the last vlog. <laughs> This is what the Roberry pups do all day, every day. He eats her neck meat. <laughs> Zoe! Hi! Hi, Ranger. 
All right, friends, it is time to whip up dinner. What are we having this lovely Monday evening, sir? Uh, we're gonna have some spaghetti with uh, clams and some garlic bread. It's gonna be really good. With so Toasted breadcrumbs on top, for a little crunch and some fresh parsley. I'm here for it. Okay. Let's whip it up.
All right, dinner is all done. This is very much like it. I mean, I have we obviously haven't tasted this yet, but this gives me like scampi type feels, but with clams. So I'm excited. Time to eat. Hey, friends. Happy Tuesday. It's about midday on Tuesday, Sean's birthday. Hold, please. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> No, happy Tuesday, friends. Hi, how are you? Long time no talk. Um, <clears throat> Sean has gone, he went into work. He went into work this morning. He has some stuff to do there. So, but I don't know if he's going to come home a little early or not, but we are going to, I'm going to go grab some dinner from Visconti's, which is um, one of our favorite, bleh, one of our favorite restaurants. So um, he'll have his little birthday dinner at home, but I've been working away on my Sensi room here, as you can see. Figured I would show you some progress situations. Hoping I should have it completely done tomorrow is what I'm hoping. So, but figured I would show you the mess right, that it this currently is. is. The situation. <laughs> this is the situation we're working with. So, as you guys know, I have had these little like build it yourself uh, cube organizational cube things that I got from Amazon. These have been really great for what they are, but I'm just, I'm kind of ready for just like a lift. So that's what we got these, <clears throat> uh, these cubes for. So we've got three of those that are going to go right under the ball bar wall here. So I'm going to, I'm in the process of breaking these down. I'm going to post them for sale in the, in our like neighborhood for sale page group situation. And then my next task is to break all of those down but yeah so I've got my bins of bars and pods and stuff so I'm just working on filtering them into my new baskets and things so yeah this is just kind of what we're working with here and I'm really excited because my what's Lisa warming bin is gonna now be go from that to that <laughs> which is gonna be great so I'm really excited for that but so far, my Alex 9 drawer is all put together, ready to go. I've got stuff in there already, but now I just need to throw these guys in there and then break all this down. So this is my current situation here. This, this is the other piece. <laughs> this is, this is, these are the pieces that are going to go into like the closet area that I still need, that I need to break down dismantle and break down. Um, it's actually going to be laying on its side, so it's not going to be standing up right. It's going to be laying on its side, but those are the ones that are going to go into the closet area. Okay, a little progress update for you. We have Ranger. <laughs> and, uh, and UPS. Jeez Louise! <laughs> Welcome to my life every single day. <laughs> oh, he just hears the truck. Even if even if the UPS, FedEx, Amazon truck pulls up just near our house, not even for us, he starts losing his mind. <laughs> He's just like, it's that truck again. It's that truck. It comes by all the time. As we were. Okay, so we have the cubes all set up here. The Alex 9 drawers were actually set up a few days ago, put them up over there. Um, so I've got enough space over here for another, the other Alex nine drawer. We just haven't set it up yet. So that's going to go there. And then once that's there, I'll like balance it out so that it looks even, but I really, really like it. It's such a nice lift. <sighs> this dog. Anybody, anybody want a crazy German shepherd? <laughs> Um, no, I love him. Wouldn't trade him for the world. But um, yeah, I just the white gives it a nice pop. And it's just I don't know now that you know, my banners white, then we've got the purple bar board. And it's just it's a nice little lift from the black. So the black was fine. It was great. I'm just I'm in a phase of I'm wanting a lift. So and this has all kinds of storage and I am Careful. So I send my progress update pictures to Sean and of course he finds issues with it, <laughs> but it's because he's OCD and I appreciate it. Um, let me just show you. 
I've got a couple of my baskets down here, but his thought, and I, I do agree, is that now having these cubes here, it's not level with the bar wall or it's not like equal, like, cause you've got like this is flush over here with like the bar wall, the, the pegboard here is flush here. And over here, you've got all of this space. So it's not level, but if we have it equal over here, it's not gonna leave enough room for the Alex nine drawers over here. So my thought is, like I said, I am going to balance it out, but it's still, it's not gonna be level with the bar wall. So, my thought to fix <laughs> this is to add another panel of the pegboards right here because that's pretty much the exact size. Just add more pegboard. Then I have more room to hang more bars. <laughs> so I'm thinking that may be a thing because I do still want the other Alex Nine doors here. Hmm. What to do? I guess we will find out. And yay, I already have my warmer set up and lit. <laughs> Obviously, I will, still, I will still have more warmers going on over here. These I've completely unplugged since I'm gonna be dismantling the situation, so that's why those aren't on, but I am slowly getting my warmers back on. But we've got those baskets that are going on the bottom row. It's coming together. Oh, okay. All right, friends, doing a little check-in with you. I'm actually just getting ready to leave the house right now to go get Sean's birthday dinner. I did offer to make him a steak, but he was smart and said no. <laughs> no, um, I, I'm totally comfortable in making a steak via the sous vide because I wouldn't completely butcher that, but he went ahead and opted for Visconti's, which is our favorite Italian restaurant. So I called in our order and now I am on my way to go pick it up. He did want a pizza as well as um, a, an entree. So I went with an entree as well and then we'll just have pizza for leftovers. So because they have amazing pizza and you guys know how much the Roberries love a good pizza. Let's go get food. All right, time to grab some delicious food. I do wish we were dining in tonight, but you know, the man had to work, so better than no Visconti's at all. All right, friends, dinner is done and it was amazing per usual. And now it is time to get cleaned up and I'm ready to hang out and chill out with the birthday boy for the rest of the evening. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on this long birthday weekend. Thank you so much for the continued love and support. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like the vlogs. If you're new, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you see what new random weekend things the Roberries are up to. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us this weekend. It means so much. I hope you have a really great week ahead and we will check you out in the next vlog. Bye guys.